In the last couple makeover videos, we started working on Marie's bedroom, which looks a little something like this when I moved into this home. Now, I created this mood board because Marie's bedroom actually faces a red home, so I really wanted to hone in on the red toned lighting that bounces in. So I plastered the walls with a warm suede tone by Miotid in a product called Marmarino Palladino, which requires you to trowel it on, let it dry down, sand it, and then seal it. But the result looks something like this, which is absolutely beautiful. It has like a natural stone finish. I painted the ceiling a creamy white color, got this chandelier from an antique store, kind of altered it to match the style I wanted for this room, hung these beautiful bamboo shades, built the bed, and brought in the nightstands. Good morning everyone, I hope you're having a great day today. I am because it is decorating and styling day in Marie's. I am so excited because the walls are done and it is time to add all the pretty elements and just everything I've been collecting for this room, including some of the furniture pieces, the dresser, the desk, the desk chair, and then just some other things that I have in mind as well. Today's video is kindly sponsored by Brooklinen, which is one of my absolute favorite bedding brands. You guys, their bedding always looks so beautiful. The quality is incredible, and I love how you can mix and match the pieces. So you can do like a solid color sheet if you want to with striped pillowcases and a striped duvet cover. Like you can mix and match your selection. So you kind of create a bed that's one of a kind and really personalized to your own style. And I ordered some bedding from Marie's room as well. And this is in the sateen finish, which I don't know if you guys can see. It has like the slightest bit of a sheen to it. So I got a warm gray one from Marie's room. And honestly, let's go open that. I'm gonna get ready and then we can put it on our bed. I'm about to start styling Marie's bed with some Brook Linen bedding from the sheets to the duvet to the pillow covers. It's gonna add a lot of brightness to this room. As you know, we have our dark walls in here and the colors and the tones of everything are just looking so beautiful with the bed. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of Brook Linen in the past because they are the internet's favorite sheets. Everyone loves a Brook Linen sheet. Now this is our fitted sheet that we're gonna be putting on the bed, but actually all of the bedding in this room, I got in the same colorway because I thought that the kind of tone on tone bedding would be kind of chic, very simple, and really let our wall texture and kind of other elements in the room shine while still providing a lovely bed to sleep in. The Brooklyn and sheets are so soft. I love the quality of their bedding. And the great thing is that you can get bundles or you could get the individual pieces. So if you wanted like, you know, a couple pillowcases or just a flat sheet, you could do that. Or you can get a bundle, which saves you 25%, which is what I did. So the one that I opted for was the Lux Hardcore Bundle, which includes the duvet cover, the sheet set, including the top sheet and then the fitted sheet, and two extra pillowcases with your sheet set. So you have a total of four pillows. So you have everything you need for your entire bed makeup. So I'm gonna add the flat sheet and then we can add our duvet. This color is stunning. Now these are actually sateen, so they have a slight bit of a sheen to them, which I love because I wanted that in this room. Kind of a little bit of a feminine touch. It has this luster that's really pretty. And right now Brooklyn is having their staycation sale through August 31st, where you can get 15% off all Brooklyn products, including bedding, bath and towels, and some other products. So use the link at the top of my description box to take advantage. Through this archway here is actually some cabinet doors that make up some shelving for additional storage. So I'm going to be painting these a purple shade called the Deepest Mauve or Deepest Mauve, however you like to say that word, from Benjamin Moore. And I love this color. It's like a moody purple color and Marie's favorite color is purple. So I wanted to figure out a way to add a little bit of purple. And I thought this hidden area, these cabinet doors would be a great way to add a pop of color that was just something a little unexpected. I kind of needed a day to get my head wrapped around what I wanted to do in here with styling. And I also still have yet to bring the dresser in. Um, it was the weekend and Justin's back today. So we are going to be bringing the dresser in today. It's actually in the guest room where Marie has been sleeping for the past couple of weeks while we've been working in this space. So we're about to bring the dresser in. That way all the furniture will be here. Marie's one request for the room as well was to have a desk or like a place that she could work at. Um, she does work for Lone Fox, as many of you guys know. 
She helps out with a lot of the projects, but she also does a lot of more computer-based tasks. So she just wanted an area that she can like use her computer and have a desk space and also be able to do her makeup at it as well, like a vanity area. So I think we might try to find like a vanity mirror for it or something. Two weeks ago, I went to the Pasadena City College Flea and I found a really cool desk. It is from South Africa, kind of mid-century style, but the color of it really matched the Lulu and Georgia bed. So I loved it and the price was so good so I could not pass it up and then I have a cool chair that I also found on Facebook marketplace for the desk so we're gonna bring those in but let's first start with the dresser the dresser but I can clearly tell I need to paint the side of this door because even when it's closed you can still kind of see it in there but welcome to my dresser styling class <laughs> um, I'm going to be styling this dresser and I love the way that this dresser looks with the wall it almost like has this like blended in effect which is what I was going for I really wanted that tone on tone like wood effect which is what I've been mentioning throughout the mood board and when I first started this room and the wall color mixed with this just looks so good I love doing a chatty styling video with you guys and just kind of sharing my thoughts my ideas and everything I want to do so usually whenever I'm styling a dresser or a console or anything I'm always firstly starting with the art whatever's going to be going on the wall um, and it's going to be kind of adding the most color or setting the tone for what I'm styling so I actually have an incredible art piece I love this one I found it at a flea market of course and look how great this piece was. I think I got it for like $75 and it is a painting of a woman. It also has this kind of like distressed, well not distressed, it's probably authentic aged quality to it. And it is also signed at the bottom, but the frame, which I need to give the frame a little bit of a cleaning, it has that chrome vibe, which I'm really loving in this room. I feel like the chrome almost adds this like futuristic, like modern element to these aged feeling walls so i really love that juxtaposition so i think that this art is going to be super cool going above the dresser like look at the colors in that the frame also just how the light hits it so good and we could cover up this outlet with the artwork as well so i'm definitely going to be hanging this i got a few pieces from the new colin king west elm collab which is fun and these were part of the PR box. And I thought, wow, these are just the forms and shapes. I mean, I feel like that's what Colin's known for. So I thought these could be like kind of a nice addition. And I thought the gray with this colorway too would be pretty. So I'm just gonna pop those on just to get kind of an idea for some shape on there. I have two different candle holders I brought up because I thought adding a bit of kind of an organic look this one's a little bit more kind of traditional but something about the silver in here i've been loving this one's kind of a bit more brassy but it has kind of a whimsical vibe to it maybe with some candles like maybe over here so you're just like an oatmeal taper candle from my website that looks good i brought up this vase also from a flea market oh goodwill nine dollars i thought it could be fun to layer. I feel like we need like something here though. Let me go look for something. Wooden kind of brutalist statue. Ooh, which I like her, but I feel like there needs to be a little maybe height in the center. He has this book, A Hip Hop Jewelry History, called Ice Cold, but it has this chrome spine kind of going back to the frame. And then this book, Florida Lee Pattern, but I thought just layering that over top and then, or do we like, the green pot. I think this is a little bit more kind of breathable feeling. I think this is what we are going to do for the styling. I ended up adding this little jewelry box that Marie got when we were in Palm Springs that just has like some of her jewelry in there. I'm about to bring in the desk that I found at the flea market. I loved the art shapes that were in the underside of the legs and I love the wood color. It kind of brought back to the wood color in the bed here because our nightstand and dresser is a little lighter and then we have the darker here. So I wanted it to be in one more spot in the room. So we're adding it in the desk area. Here is the desk and it is so pretty and it fits under this window 
like it was made for this spot. Like it fits right under here. You can still utilize um, all of the actual turning mechanism. Like if it was one inch taller, you wouldn't be able to. And there's even a chair that I'm very excited to share with you. Let me go out and grab the chair. So I found this chair on Facebook, of course, as I've been finding everything lately. And when I saw this chair, it was actually a Lone Fox family member that sold it to me. He was like, oh my gosh, I watch your videos. And he had two of these in great condition. It was $250 for the set. So essentially $125 each. And how cool is this chair? I have to oil it a little bit on the actual like twisty swivel. But it has this chrome base to it that is so great. It is like the perfect desk chair. I feel like it's too small to be like an accent chair, so it's perfect for this desk area. And it's just gonna go kind of right here-ish. And if you've been a longtime follower, you would have seen this lamp. It is from World Market. And I love mixing this with vintage. Whenever I have a room that has a lot of vintage in it or a lot of vintage elements, I always feel like adding a really modern shape like this or something that has like a great shape always breaks it up a little bit. This lamp in particular, I was thinking of adding over on the side. A while back, I got these little easels and I got these at the Target like dollar section. They were $3 an easel. So I picked up a couple of them. I think I might chop it a little bit lower because it's kind of tall at the moment. And then I have an oil painting that's just gonna go right on top of there. And this is purely stylistic. Like if Marie decides that she doesn't want this up here, it could totally be removed, um, but it's just gonna be there for now. Everything's coming together so nicely in here. And I love this bedding. The sateen like finish and how it has almost like a satiny look to it. I just love. And I was thinking actually of doing a little accent pillow. So I pulled this one. It has a very similar look almost to the wall behind us, but it's just a leather accent pillow, which I thought would be a nice kind of contrast with the satin. Now I actually have a couple of sconces coming that I'm going to be doing on the wall. So I'll probably do that a little bit later in this video, but for now I would love to just put some flowers on this nightstand because right by the window over here, I feel like is the most stunning lighting. Like this just needs its own moment. And I thought that little Colin King bowl that I styled on the dresser earlier, it needs to go there, like a little ring catch-all, but just the contrasting colors, the shape of this. And then right at the end of the bed, I'm actually going to just do a little kind of bed blanket, just a white waffle bed blanket for some texture. I ended up getting a plant for Marie's room as well. Got this at Rolling Greens yesterday. And the reason I selected this particular plant, which I'll put the proper name up at the bottom if you guys are curious, is just because you only have to water it very sparingly and they're quite easy to take care of. I just added the last shade from Two Pages in the little like closet cutout area. We already painted the main closet door, but around the corner kind of in this little cutout here is a second closet area. And this one's really nice because Marie can put like all of her shoes here. There's a hanging bar up here. And I'm gonna have a little step stool down here as well, like a cute one. And we're gonna be putting the doors back on here, which are already painted. And the color I selected is Deepest Mauve by Benjamin Moore. It definitely leaned a little purple. I'm adding a peacock mirror back here and something about the peacock mirror just enticed me to add a fun pop of color on this wall that you really don't see when you first walk in. It's only around the corner. So I thought, you know what, let's have a fun pop. Look at that little pop of color that's just peeking from behind. Looks so good through there. And then I'm gonna be adding like a mirror right here. This was my first ever, ever, ever Facebook Marketplace purchase that I've ever made. Um, it was like two Christmases ago and I got it for like $40. It's a toll punched mirror because it just feels like it fit perfectly in this archway. I love it. So we are going to hang that up. Looks like we're in a hotel right now. This looks so good, I love it. We have a light option that just arrived from Miss Amazon. So you got three different sconce options, okay? Oh, this is one of the linen ones. Oh, got here already? Oh my gosh, one of them's already here. Oh, that's really pretty. Wait, that looks kind of good. Yeah, that one's really pretty. 
pretty. Wow. So we're doing corded sconces because you didn't like the lamps that you bought. Yeah, okay, so I thought we were gonna do table lamps in here, but there's something about having flowers on the table and just actually having the table or the nightstands accessible and putting things on them that I like. And I feel like with the lighting, they just need something organic on them. And a lamp just takes up so much space. So I would like to do a sconce, but look how pretty this linen simple shade is. This other option would actually hang from brackets. So we have like a couple brackets. And they're actually all really affordable options. So we drew a link all of them for you. Yeah. I like this, this is thin. Usually the old fashioned ones are really thick. Yeah, no, yeah. I was staring at all the review photos to try to find one that looked like expensive. Kind of chic. It's really cute, but we need a bracket, you know? That one's great. I think we should do that. We're gonna spray paint these. They're a little bit too black, and kind of the idea is maybe like matching this more warmer bronze color. And if I show up, will you show me around town? So here is how that nightstand on the left ended up looking like styled. It is so cute. I added a little crest tray from the website and then this fun little object, which I actually found at an estate sale. I recently shared it with you guys. I love how sculptural it is and just the shape is so unique. And then over here is a little candle, just a couple books and a bowl on the bottom. And then over here is the floor mirror, which Marie really wanted a floor mirror as well. So I got her this one. It's from Lulu and Georgia. They are so, so sweet and sent this one over. This is one of my dream mirrors. I think it is such a pretty one. It's from the Sarah Sherman Samuel collection. This is the floor size. I believe they also have a wall version if you're curious, but it is so pretty. And the brass on the side is also stunning. And to the left of that mirror is this vintage Vogue cover that Marie's aunt and uncle got for her. They worked in the art industry and they got this cover framed. It's actually an authentic Vogue cover from July 1923, New York and summer, and it was 35 cents. But this is what the cover looked like. And it's crazy that this is an actual cover, like print that was taken off. So I just added that to the left just to add a little interest over there and then swapped out the door handles, which looks so good. These are from Amazon. I'll link them for you guys below if you're curious they are just simple something I liked about this one is the lock mechanisms underneath so it's kind of hidden um, you don't really see it from the straight-on view but it's under and hidden so that way you can't really see the lock mechanism from the front on view which is really nice after a full two days of styling and just letting things kind of sit with me and feeling them out, the room is complete and I am so excited to share this bedroom with you. I feel like on the channel, I actually don't do too many bedrooms. I've really only done the bedrooms in Marie and I's previous apartment. I haven't done one, I don't even think, for someone else. I normally do like more communal spaces like dining rooms, kitchens, living rooms. I do have four rooms in this home that are gonna be actual bedrooms, so three left, but this is one of three and let me reveal it to you guys in three Three, two, one. This one's very orange because the neighbor's house is literally neon red.
and that is Marie's bedroom makeover all complete. I hope that you guys loved this video. Wish, honestly, I was able to capture Marie's room better. It's really hard to film that space. Even with a professional camera, I had my videographer shoot the final clips, and it's just so hard to capture how actually beautiful this bedroom is. I know I mentioned I wanted to get this video up on Sunday, but I'm actually in Sweden right now for a pretty exciting project, and I just got a little bit behind on editing this one. I wanted it to really turn out so good, and I hope that you guys loved it. I took some pretty good photos of the room as well that I'm going to be posting over on my Instagram, so definitely follow over there. It is just Lone Fox Home. If you want to see some more close-up photos, and I feel like the pictures definitely represent the colors a little better. And last but not least, before I head out and start exploring, you guys got to check out Brooklyn Inn if you are in the market for some new sheets. They are having their staycation sale right now, which is such a great offer, so definitely take advantage of that because you get the bundle offer plus 15% off, which is such a great deal. So I'm going to link them at the top of the description box below. So I'll catch you all on my next video. Bye.